You know what that music means? A new celeb tops the list on this season's Dancing with the Stars, and others may be stumbling their way <laughs> off the floor. And here to recap all the moves from last night's show, we welcome back Hunter Lyle from Arthur Murray Dance Studio in Lexington. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. We're in week number three, and it just keeps getting better and better. It's really interesting to see kind of, I think we have like a top five, and they're just kind of settling into their places, some going right. up a little bit higher each week, some kind of slipping. And this week we do have a new pair on top of the leaderboard, so we'll start with the best from last night. Reality star Audrina Patridge and her partner with a beautiful waltz, earning a score of 26 and even getting the first nines of the season. They really did a great job. If you watch their waltz, the clip we're seeing, you know, the balance and all the rotations are fantastic. The footwork is precise, and their balance as a partner is fantastic. They really connect well together. And that's one of the things that the judges said. They could really feel the emotion and the expression in the performance. It really was a beautiful dance to watch. It was. Their heights are perfect, and just the elegance of it, you can really see her float across the floor. If she keeps that up through the entire season, she'll be very hard to beat. I definitely think she is one of the top contenders. Now, we should point out, in the interest of full disclosure, there was a three-way tie for second place. I overruled anybody else tied for second after I saw Rick Fox without his shirt on. Sorry. I just, I, you know, there were three choices, and uh, he, he came to the top of my list for nothing else other than just looking good with his shirt open. So what you're saying is the women have the vote for Rick Fox, and uh, yes. I'm going to come up with that. a man's Come on, ladies. Next week. <laughs> you know, he is a phenomenal dancer, and the funny part is to do a samba like that for someone so tall is very, very difficult. You know, you've got a balance action in the samba that's really precise. It's really fun to do, but it's very difficult because the taller you are, the longer your legs, and the more mistakes you can see. So for to do that well this early on was a fantastic job, actually. And uh, I think he's going to be a strong contender, too. He's done well so far. We'll see if he keeps his clothes on as the season goes on. Well, unfortunately, everybody can't be at the top of the list, and uh, I don't know. Are the laughs over for comedian Margaret Cho? Her and her partner, uh, Louis Van Amstel, are in the last place. Yeah, the samba just didn't do it for us. I mean, you know, you watch her dance. It's a hard dance anyway and she's a great comedian but just not as great of a dancer and I don't think it did anything special last night. I don't think her footwork, kind of lost the footwork about halfway through and if I had to vote who was going to be off tonight, I'd pick her this week. I think she seems to be having fun and she's really been spirited but as the judges point out, you know, you're at the point now you kind of have to start looking more for some of the technical accuracy and that sort of thing and I don't know if she was really pulling that off. No, I don't think so. The costume was exciting and a lot of color, very colorful but her dancing just wasn't up to par and really it's all about the dancing when you see the dancing and when you're judging you're looking for what happens at that moment at that time and in her this case it didn't happen well we will find out tonight who is going home so be sure to join us here at abc 36 for the results show and before you go you're going to give our viewers a chance to win some dance lessons let's do it it's week number three so it's your third time to enter if you've been thinking about this and wanting to learn to dance for the fall which is coming up we want to try a contest now call the first 36 callers call now 278 -77 one one you're going to get two free private lessons plus get entered in our drawing for 50 private lessons so if you've been thinking about it and you've been on the fence call now 278-7711 if the phones are busy keep calling 278-7711 well thank you so much for being with us we'll thank be you, back Grant. throughout the whole season as it narrows down to just <laughs> one couple left be That's interesting right. to watch up next uh, we will be right